All right, we're ready to wrap up our gentle introduction to TypeScript this week. That's not to say we'll have covered all of the ins and outs. TypeScript is a powerful and complex language, but we should have a solid foundation on which to build. I want to cover a few final things, though, just for clarity. The first is that TypeScript is not just for function parameters. They make for easy examples, so that's what I've been using, but if you're using var or let, you should be typing those values too. Like this. Obviously, if we change this to a string, we'll get a TypeScript error because number is supposed to be a number. It's the same deal with objects that are not a part of a function. They still need an interface, regardless of what keyword you're using to declare them. Here's an example. If you're using const, which I find is actually more common than let for most of the work I do, and I barely ever use var at all anymore, you don't need to type simple primitives because since const throws an error if you change it at all, it's never going to change type. So these are fine. Objects, as we mentioned previously, still need an interface. Arrays are slightly different too. The way const works with them is that as long as the variable is always an array, the JS engine won't complain but it doesn't care if you change what's in the array. So it's generally good to type the array's internal values even if you use const, like this. This prevents you from accidentally tossing a number or object into an array that's only supposed to contain strings later on. For example, like this. As you can see, argument of type 54 is not assignable to parameter of type string because it's a number. The last thing to keep in mind for today is handling arrays full of objects. You've probably already guessed the syntax for that, but just to confirm, yes, you just use the name of your interface with two brackets after it. So this will work. Well right up until that third value, which will give you the TypeScript error because seasons is supposed to be a number and we've given it a string. Let's go ahead and fix that. And then we'll save the file. And then we'll go ahead and compile it just to make sure that everything's working. We already know because VS Code isn't throwing any errors that everything is, but hey, better safe than sorry. Take a quick look at the JavaScript that produced. As you can see, in this case, all it's really doing is getting rid of our typing because TypeScript has already checked and made sure that everything is working with the typing, so you don't need it in the final compiled JavaScript. So that's it for the basics of TypeScript. Hopefully this has helped people understand why it's a value and how to get started with it. If you're looking for way more information, you can check out the documentation at typescriptlang.org. Or you can reply to this tutorial going, dude, I would pay you money for a complete TypeScript course, and perhaps I'll make one. See you next week.